Welcome to the channel. We're going to do a little easy maintenance on my four-stroke outboard motor, a Tahatsu 9.8. We're going to change the engine oil and we're going to change the lower unit gear oil. Really something easy that a do-it-yourself person can do and save some money and it doesn't take very much time at all. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the engine oil. And my owner's manual recommends either 1030 or 1040 oil and uh, check your own owner's manual to see what weight oil you should be using. They sell oil that is branded as four-stroke outboard oil. I'm going to use that, but I think you can use other 1030 and 1040 oil. But just check your owner's manual to see what they recommend in terms of the oil. All right, so this outboard is 10 years old. It's, like I said, a 9.8 horsepower Tahatsu. I'll put the model number on the screen. But the first thing you do is you remove this bolt right here, which is a 5 8 socket. What I've done is I've attached this funnel and hose to this bottle. There's only 800 milliliters in this engine oil, which is 27 ounces. So it will hold the 27 ounces in this jug. And I will not open up the fill cap for the oil before I start draining. If you do that, you're going to release the vacuum. And so when you first take the bolt out, it's going to shoot a stream out about a foot away. So we'll leave that intact. It'll drain a little slower this way, but we won't make a mess. Our goal is to not spill a drop of this oil here. I do have, in addition to the jug that it's going to go into, I have a oil absorbent uh, cloth that is below the oil uh, plug as well. Okay, so I have the bottle and it's uh, going to go into this five gallon bucket. So if there was any spillage from here, it's going to go in the five gallon bucket instead of on the ground. Okay, so this 5 8 bolt has a metal washer that Tahatsu recommends that you change every time that you change the oil. And I'll just use this socket and ratchet, the 5 8 to loosen this up and get the funnel in place to capture the oil. Okay, so it's set for about 5-10 uh, minutes draining, so we're going to go ahead and put the bolt back in. With the two washers. Okay, now we're going to take the cover off to get to the oil fill. This engine takes 800 milliliters, which is 27 ounces. So I'm going to use the milliliter markings on the side of the quart of oil to put in uh, the 800 milliliters. So a quart of oil is 946 milliliters. So I want 146 milliliters left. Right now I have almost 300 milliliters left. I want to get down to 146 milliliters. Okay, I'm a little less than 800 milliliters, but I want to check it. You don't want to overfill the engine oil better to put less in it and check it and see where you're at. I'll let that oil settle a little bit before I check it. Ok, 
Okay, so it's not up to the top fill line, so I can add a little bit more. And now I have about 150 milliliters left in the quart of oil. Put the fill cap back on. You want to make sure you don't lose the o-ring that is on the fill cap. All right, we're done with the oil change, so I'll put the cover back on. All right, next we're going to change the lower unit gear oil. And my owner's manual calls for 80 weight to 90 weight oil. Check your owner's manual to see what gear oil it recommends. But basically the process is there are two different holes for the gear oil. They both have slot screws on them. You have one, the upper screw, and you have one down here, which is the lower screw. What they recommend is that you take this one out first, have something to catch the oil, and then loosen the top one. And once you loosen the top one, it will release the vacuum and the oil will come out faster. They don't want you to take this one out first because you're gonna end up with a bigger oil mess. Uh, they recommend on both of these screws that you change the gaskets. I do have two new gaskets to replace the old ones. I'm going to just crack the screw right now, just loosen it enough and I know I can get it off without a problem, but not take it out enough where oil comes out. Then I'm going to get the bucket underneath it. And now that we have the lower screw out, we'll take the top screw out. And you can see the oil is coming out faster now. After we let this drain for about five minutes, then the process is to take the bottle and put it in the hole and you can squeeze it and then that will push the oil up. And then as soon as you see the oil coming out of the top hole, then you want to hold the bottom or keep this still in place and then put the top screw back in because that will create a vacuum. So the amount of time it takes you to put the screw back in the bottom, you won't lose as much oil as if the top hole was still open. I'm taking the old gasket off. Just getting it off, it's breaking, falling apart. The gasket's important because, you know, at least particularly for the lower unit, it's under the water and it can get uh, water inside the lower unit. And I'm going to clean that part of the gasket that's still stuck off there but uh, these are the gaskets, and I'll put that information up on the screen. But Tahatsu does recommend that you change these every time you change the oil on the lower unit. Okay, so it's coming out of the top now, and it's full. Full is 10.8 ounces, which I think is 300 and something milliliters. I'll put that up on the screen. So now I'm going to put the top screw back in to try to create a little bit of a vacuum. So when I'm taking the bottom screw, or trying to put the back, bottom screw back on, it won't come out as fast. So we'll create a little bit of a vacuum here with the top screw back in. And now the thing is to just try to get this screw in as fast as you can. Because um, as soon as I pull this bottle away, it wants to come out. And the angle is kind of odd. So 
that's the tricky part. I do have a little uh, basin under here to, to catch the oil. How swift. They tell you to put a little bit of lube on the gasket, uh, which I did with the clean oil. Okay, so now we'll take the slot screwdriver and tighten those up. All right, we got it done. Now the owner's manual says that if you want to check and make sure that you've got enough oil in the lower unit to put a wire in the top hole and a, a wire about an inch into the hole and it should touch oil. If it doesn't, you probably lost too much oil when you're trying to get that bottom screw on. We got the screw on pretty easily and lost almost nothing, so I think we're in good shape. This is really a good, easy, do-it-yourself project to change the engine oil and the lower unit gear oil. Kind of the hardest thing was taking this off the transom, so we got to get it back on the dinghy. So that's always a little bit of a chore. As always, check your owner's manual to make sure that the oil recommendation for your engine is what you're putting it in, for what you're putting in. Uh, the same thing for the lower unit. So this is a 9.8 horsepower Tahatsu. It's about 10 years old. I'll put the model number up. But you want to make sure that you check your owner's manual and that you're putting the right oil, motor oil, and the right gear oil in and whatever other instructions they might have for you in terms of how often to change the oil. So thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and please like the video and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.